Welcome back, uh, all the viewers. Every time I need not tell you, but uh, uh, if you like, uh, you want to get my subsequent videos, you may subscribe. Mm. And if you have any query, recommend, please do make it. But it's straightforward, simple, and uh, not a very lengthy one. I will definitely try to give clarity in my next uh, videos. If it pertains to some subtopic or something, I'll definitely handle in due course. As somebody has pointed out uh, a little while ago, <clears throat> right? Now, uh, let me come back to our point of discussion. We were looking at uh, projectiles, uh, horizontal projectiles from the top of a tower. I already put uh, uh, vect is the equation of motion uh, representing that. But now I will give you uh, here you can see this is a tower. This is all ground and if you project two bodies simultaneously on either side, this is plus i, this is minus i, and this is j plus, uh, so plus j. <coughs> now when you try to project the uh, particle from the top of a tower horizontally, the other day we saw the time of flight is under root to h by g, where h is the height of the tower. I think in the previous lecture probably I forgot to put the square root. I think you can make a correction in that. Now, uh, both the particles would reach the ground at the same time. Uh, I think a case I already <coughs> discussed with you uh, some time back. Now, if I'm going to draw these uh, equations for both these cases, the purpose for which I have drawn this, uh, I'll give you like this, the first particle, this is the second particle. Uh, first equation is uh, u1i and uh, plus jg. Now, this is u bar. This is A bar. Here what do you write? Minus U2i and here it is plus JG. I think the previous case, if you recall, I put 0 for you to be a little more specific. Uh, this is all for your convenience I am putting it. Otherwise it is meaningless. 0i. So there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction. Acceleration is only in the vertical direction. Now write down the equations which I already uh, wrote in the previous uh, case. Uh, I will put V bar is equal to, there is no change in this, I U1 plus J G T and this is minus I U2 plus J G T. And similarly, S bar is uh, I U1 T plus J half G T square. This is minus I U2 T of J T square. I mean, this is, uh, I'm sure you can, uh, you have now developed the technique of writing down these equations. And then finally, you can write Vxy as uh, I u1 plus root 2gy. Y positive downward, acceleration g downward, so both are plus. And here it is minus I u2. This is a simultaneous projection. Now there could be a few questions based on this. So they may say, when do you expect these two velocities to be perpendicular to each other? After some time, you know, the probably 
at the same time this is v1 v2 if you plot like this when are these two perpendicular i told you one thing which you sh it should strike you every time i talk of perpendicularity immediately you should talk about uh, dot product we are talking of v1 and v2 so perpendicular means v1 dot v2 must be zero therefore what should you do take v1 dot v2 zero i think you can do that see just try to figure out how to simplify these things i think you need to develop that uh, don't expect uh, uh, the instructor to do all the uh, jugglery part of it i think you can do that so i don't i want so you have minus u1 u2 i'm erasing this part here <coughs> And if I put a dark product here, I get. Uh, I'm sorry.